a simple thought. Convert it into nearly 51,000 bytes of data. The Multimedia Message, or MMS. This particular message is one of 28,000 sent every second into the World Communication Network. It accompanies categories of information like emails, ISP data, web logs, and voice data. When deciphered, these communications carry with them a pattern, or metadata, that reveal information like the user's number, who the receiver is, the location sent, the date and time of the message, the duration, the amount of data transmitted, and the subsequent cost of that transmission. The average user will have 736 pieces of this personal information collected every day. Over time, this information amounts to the user's digital identity, which is accessible any time in their service provider's retention period. Verizon withholds this information for 12 months, AT&T for 84, Sprint for 24, and T-Mobile for 60 months. Most individuals will have over a million pieces of information spanning the past 45 months already in their provider's possession. A third party, owning nearly four years of your life. Not only do users pay for the access to information through cell phones, computers, and data plans, but those who partake in the network pay to be unknowing participants in a vast study group. If you use this network, your four years of information is extracted and sold without consent, contributing to the nearly $34,000 accumulated every second by the information sector. The specifics of nearly all digital interactions are sold to a variety of entities. Among them are ad servers that assign the individual a demographic based on their digital histories. Once assigned, individualized information is deployed to the user. Location data is filtered into intrusive localized advertising. Facebook likes transform into custom Walmart ads and search engine results are narrowed to a limited scope. The global internet becomes the personal internet, and information ceases to be information at all.